Now you can't just add vectors together in the same way you do to scalar numbers. What does it even mean? For example, uh, let's say you wanted to add 5 kilometers north to 3 kilometers east. Well, they're not adding the same thing together. So how do you do it? Well, if you're adding, say, 5 kilometers north and 3 kilometers east, basically you're asking where would you go if you went first of all 5 kilometers north and then 3 kilometers east? So you add them nose to tail. So the addition of 5 kilometers north and 3 kilometers east is this vector here, which is north east. You could add them the other way around, so you could add 3 kilometers east and then 5 kilometers north. So you go that way along here, then you go up there, and you get the same answer. Another way you can do it is using a parallelogram. So you could say you've got your 3 kilometers east and your 5 kilometers north, and you fill out the imaginary box and draw something to the end there. Now that applies to forces, it applies to other things as well. So electric field, if you have an electric field of 3 volts per amp this way and 5 volts per amp that way, and add them together, you don't just add 3 plus 5 equals 8. That's meaningless. Unless you know the direction of the electric field, you just can't add them. If you know the direction, though, you just work something out. Either add them head to tail or complete the square. What if they're at right angles? So far everything's been at right angles, but let's say we had, I know, this vector and that vector. Well, you do the same thing. You, s you slide this one over here, so it's nose to tail, and that is the sum of those two vectors. Or again, you can do a parallelogram in this case. So you've got this vector and that vector, so you draw an imaginary parallelogram and this is the sum of the two vectors.